two years ago, I got a pair of these beautiful beetles and now we've got more than 10. This is the short story of how I bred the Grant's Hercules beetles and how you can too. Many, many moons ago, when this channel was fresh, I made my first purchase on Japan's Yahoo auctions and giddy with excitement, I did my very first Christmas in July style unboxing, which I actually never made it into a video till now. Although I was anxious about buying insects over the internet, it was packed wonderfully and the beetles arrived healthy and energetic. I took a bunch of random footage of the pair and also hastily prepared a cage for them to meet. I went with the typical setup of moistened flake soil punched by layers with several jelly cups on the surface and set it aside for a week while I went to Indonesia for a short vacation. Longtime viewers may remember this awesome insect museum I went to in Taman Mini. But during that trip, I couldn't stop thinking about the beetles and well after I returned, I checked and discovered so many eggs. I counted more than 40 eggs of which many hatched down the line and resulted in some beautiful larvae. Now you might have realized the number of adults doesn't really add up and while that's normal to an extent, it definitely isn't this disparate, but there's a reason for it. Feel free to get mad at me in the comments below, but it's because I didn't separate the larvae into their own containers or large enough containers to possibly support 40 plus. This means that many of them were likely cannibalized and I let it happen since I did not want that many beetles. But over the next year and a half, the number of larvae slowly dwindled as they became larger and the weak were weeded out. They required a lot of food, which of course meant several flake soil replacements. I think I replaced this entire cage about five times when it got too full of frass, which my golly, they produced a lot over their larval lifetime. It took a while for these guys to develop, but before I knew it, they began pupating and a month later emerged beautifully. The one in the picture is actually this guy here because oftentimes when pupal chambers are visibly made on the sides of cages, they emerge a little malformed as the pupa moves around and bumps into the corner. That's why many professional breeders would move larvae into artificial chambers to ensure they develop clean and safe, but I'm pretty casual, at least for now. So here we are about two years later. It was incredibly rewarding seeing these guys pop out and be so full of life from this mother, which I've pinned here. I gave the father to a friend, so unfortunately, I did have to lie to their children that he's out for milk. But for such a long development period, it's such a shame that their adult lifespan is only a few months. Comment below, and if you're interested in learning more about these beautiful Hercules beetles, I've made several videos about them, but here's a good starting point. And to wrap things up, thanks to the undying support of the members, and have a great rest of your day.